Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day. And it's Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. So answer the call, family. All right, so just a few days ago, I put out this video that's only 5 minutes and 24 seconds long. Rapture, man-child, 100% confirmed by God. They're his signs, right where he said they would be. And I showed you that this amateur astronomer, Hideo Nishimura, discovered this comet. And they named it after his last name. And I told you, Hideo means man-child. And Nishimura means to go west. And when you search Hideo name meaning, the first thing that pops up is excellent man. And when you scroll down, it's all over the place, family. What does Hideo mean? Excellent male child. Well, male means man. Excellent man child. And here it is again on another website. Excellent male child. Again, at babynames.net. Excellent male child. And again, for the fourth time, excellent male child. And again, male means man. So Hideo means man child. Excellent man child. And this astronomer's last name, Nishimura, which they actually named the comet after, means to go west. Nishimura surname meaning to go west. And I already said it. A lot of people are thinking that this sign is too good to be true and questioning it and doubting it. And then our father had this amateur astronomer capture this and discover this on 8-11. And I showed you on the Revelation 12 sign, it's lighting up the celestial billboard. It's marking the sign on September 19th. It's right on her chest by her heart pointing to the Revelation 12 sign, confirming it. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, just like on September 19th. That only happens once a year, one day out of the year. In September 23rd, 2017, when our father gave us the heads up about this sign, nothing has happened in this sign until now. And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. And it's obvious. The 12 stars represent the 12 tribes of Israel. And there's also 12 Virginie stars right by her head. And I walked you through that, all glory to our Father. And she being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. This sign is nothing like the Revelation 12 sign in 2017. I told you, the word doesn't say, and she being with Jupiter cried. The word says, and she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Like what we're all feeling. And we were feeling it in 2017, but it was nothing like it is right now. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Well, the ten horns was just confirmed at the BRICS summit. And it looks like they have the ten countries set up for the ten kings now. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. The picture is clear, family. The dragon gives power to the beast. The United Nations represents the dragon. 666 represents the beast. The United Nations, the dragon, is right next to the child, standing before the woman, which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. It's right in our faces. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up, raptured. And to his throne. And again, some of you have been questioning this sign. And some are doubting it. And some can't understand it. But our Father is that gracious and merciful to send this comet called Nishimura. That means to go west. And the astronomer who discovered its name is Hideo. 
and it means male child. Our Father is using this comment to wake you up and show you and confirm that this is the true Revelation 12 sign. And she brought forth a man child. And that man child was caught up. And I'm going to walk you through the man child now that goes west. And I'll take you back to the year 2000, Israel's birthday. And as you can see, if you go through the years, it's barely moving. And then it really starts to take off when the blood moon tetrad happened. And that first blood moon was on April 15, 2014. And after the first heads up of the Revelation 12 sign right there, September 23rd, 2017 is when it really starts moving. And you go through the years and you could see last year on 9 23 it was right there. And remember, the astronomer Nishimura, he didn't discover this comet until 8-11 this year. And it was right in what they call the Gemini twins. And again, remember, Esau came out first and then Jacob. So this is, anytime you see the twins, it's representing birth. So now I'll stop going through the years and start going through the days from a year ago from the time that he discovered the comet. And as you go through the days, you can see that this comet actually makes a U-turn, like the meaning of the word repent. And as you pass December, you can see it loops around, loosens the bands of Orion is what it looks like is happening there. And it flips back around, completely makes a complete circle around Orion. Catches back up with the asteroid belt. Then he discovered it right there on 811. Now here's where it gets really gigantinormous and magnificent. It starts going at light speed. Straight to the Revelation 12 sign. And as you go through the days, I showed you on the 20th, it goes into the woman's stomach, the box. And on the 22nd, it comes out. Now I'll run that back for you. And it looks like the hook in the jaw. Woo! It busts a hard left. Now I'll run it back from the day he discovered it on 8-11. And I'll just run right through the days. You'll see how fast it goes and how it whips through the sign. And I'll just tell you, I got an email from Deborah Gordon. I shared it in the community. And she's saying that the new moon was confirmed on the 17th. So she's saying that the new moon can be confirmed in September on the 15th, 16th, or the 17th. And if it is confirmed on the 17th, it'll run to the Revelation 12 sign on the 19th, to the summit on the 18th and 19th, the seven-year deal, the seven-year covenant with many. It sets up perfectly 20, 21, 22. And it goes through the woman in those three days. Imagine that. And then when you keep going, this comet never does anything again. It stays right here forever. I'll go through the years. This comment was sent by our father specifically for the Revelation 12 sign to wake you up, to confirm that this is the Revelation 12 sign. This is the grand finale family and we'll never see the Revelation 12 sign stacked like this ever again. And the main reason is because we're going home. So he don't need to stack it up again. And praise God this morning, John, the watchman for that great day, invited me to a chat room on cam. And Bob, John, Ronnie, Aaron at Got A Minute, and me, we all talked about all of this. And it was a blessing and an appointed and anointed conversation. Praise you, Father. And he led Aaron to invite us all to a live stream tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock my time. 11 o'clock East Coast, 8-11.
And we're going to share some more confirmations with you. And praise God, Aaron's going to walk you through this sign a little more in detail and depth. Because it's the biggest sign we've ever seen. In all glory to our Father, I'll try my best to post the link in my community tab on YouTube. So hold fast. It's about to be greater later.